What's going on guys and welcome back to another installment of rebuilding my childhood. I said in a previous video originally I was only going to be working on my old Star Wars sets from my childhood but then I kind of extended it to these Life on Mars sets and maybe a couple others. Yeah I didn't realize I had as much attachment to these Life on Mars sets until I started looking at them again looking at the instructions for those old sets that I had. So here we have the Centauri fig that I just put back together. I'm still working on the other minifigs, like from the arrow tube and then the other little ship that I had. I actually do have arms for this red guy, but they, they're pretty much about to crack and break. So I'm going to have to try and find replacement arms for him. Every other fig that I had is complete except this green guy with the little tech tile piece on his chest. So I'm still working on him too. So yeah, it's basically these two guys that I have left to complete and I'll keep you guys posted on that. Yeah, this Centauri minifig still looks good though. The face printing on him is still pretty, you know, pretty crisp actually. Arms are good. It's kind of interesting. The legs are a different, they look like a different shade of blue than his torso. I never really realized that before, but I did something, guys. Hey, you guys want to see something? What? I did something. I did bite the bullet, and I ended up buying a sealed version of this mech that belongs to him. Just kind of felt like I needed to after I got the red mech. So yeah, it just felt right to get it. And oh yeah, I guess you can tell. You can kind of tell in this photo of... Centauri that his legs are a different color. So I guess that's not like a misprint or anything But yeah overall this box is in pretty good condition I think it's in better condition than the red mech that I just got Obviously these sets are like over 20 years old. So any sealed version that you find There's a good chance. It's gonna have some, you know, kind of shelf wear or storage where You can see there's a couple scuffs on the sides but it's not like super crinkled or anything on any edges. Yeah, still still totally sealed. They have some brief instructions on it so you can unassemble and assemble little parts of it. Yeah, I definitely played with these sets, this one and then the red mech. I played with them a lot as a kid, I remember. I think this theme is like basically like these alien characters, they're more meant for like exploration. Like that was kind of the story. They weren't really like these mechs weren't designed for war, I guess. But that's definitely how I played with them as a kid. Cause you know, you got like these jet, jet pieces. And then these just looked like lasers to me. I don't really know what they actually are. Maybe they are lasers, but more for like exploring or uncovering, you know, or, or, you know, like mining material or something like that. But anyways, I kind of did the same thing that I did with the red mech. I tried to sell some stuff in the same month just to kind of offset this, the cost of this set. So yeah, I paid $55 for this set plus shipping. So it ended up being about $64 total. And then I ended up selling some of my Bionicle collection from my childhood. I also had a decent sized Bionicle collection but I didn't really care as much to keep those Bionicle sets like I did with these childhood sets. I didn't have as much attachment to them and most of them were kind of incomplete and I just thought it was gonna be pretty difficult to try and restore those and yeah, I just wasn't as attached to them. So, but yeah, so I ended up selling a Bionicle lot for $52 on eBay. So my payout was a, bit, a little bit less than that. So yeah, it's not like a perfect match to offset this set, but it's pretty close. Yeah, I don't know why this set is so much cheaper than the red mech. For some reason, that one is more sought after, I guess. I can't quite remember off the top what I paid for that one, but I think it ended up being like $80 or something. So this one was much cheaper. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, then we can just look through these instructions real quick. I think I'll probably try and get this set because it's probably not going to be too expensive. But then the only other set left, you know, from my childhood would be the Aerotube base. 
and I'll have to think about that one because that one's definitely going to be pricey if I can find a sealed one. I could always go for a used one of the arrow tube set, but yeah, I don't know if that's the move just because these other ones I'm getting sealed and I still just got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of them. So we'll see. We'll, we'll, see. we'll put a pin in that one. I don't know if this shade of blue is discontinued technically, but obviously like if you were to buy this color now, like, you know, like new parts, it's definitely gonna look a little bit different. But yeah, I always like this blue and then the sand blue, same with the sand red from the Red Mech. That was such a dope color. This set uses like the same piping pieces as the Red Mech, but they look like they're clicked on there a little more securely than the Red Mech. So I don't think we're gonna see, you know, like those wonky pictures like we saw in the Red Mech instructions. But yeah, this theme used like so many unique pieces and we got so many printed pieces back then. That was so sick. And then this like laser cannon piece, I don't know what you call that. That's pretty cool. You don't really see this piece anymore. Yeah, so many pieces were printed back then. These vent pieces, like for the legs, these sloped two by three pieces. Those were such a sick print. Yeah, this is another discontinued piece. I love how these feet just looked. They almost looked like animalistic in a way, if that makes sense. But yeah, these sets were all meant to be, you know, like modular. They are meant to be like mixed and matched, you know, like with the other mechs and stuff. I don't remember if I ever did that as a kid because I only had the blue and red one, but then there was that tan, the longer one with like four legs. It would be kind of cool to have all three and then just mix and match them. Got some photos of the complete build. Yeah, you could even mix and match this one a little bit, make it into a little ship or whatever that's supposed to be. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I like only had the alien parts of this theme. I didn't have any sets of like the human astronauts. This set always looked kind of cool to me. I was just looking at this online, but this part's kind of weird. I guess I didn't realize that it was a like a plasticky cover thing that goes over it. So it just looks kind of bare. Like once I was looking at photos of it, it didn't look as appealing as originally. Cause like just, yeah, like on this box, the ship itself looks pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know if like you had it in hand. I don't know if that would just feel a little incomplete since it's just a plasticky cover that goes over it. But yeah, I think for now, this one's gonna go in storage as well. But I think what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna build up both of these mechs, this one and then the red mech. And I, I guess I'll end up doing reviews of them. Kind of just makes sense to do that at this point. But yeah, I do wanna focus on finishing up or completing these minifigs. I've already been to my local bricks and minifigs and they didn't have a couple of the pieces that I needed. So I'm gonna have to go to the other two bricks and minifig stores that are kind of near me. They're a little bit further out. So hopefully they have the pieces that I need. Yeah, so once I get all these complete, then I think I'll end up building and reviewing the two mechs. So yeah, for now it's just gonna chill in storage along with this one. And once I complete the other minifigs, we'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna end up building these and reviewing them. So that should be fun, but I'll keep you guys posted. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.